Welcome to the Smite God Reveal for Cerberus, Warden of the Underworld. Along the dreaded river Styx, upon the blackened shore, stands guard a beast of unimaginable ferocity. Three enormous wolf heads creep out of the shadows, hackles raised, eyes like embers burning green with ghostly flame. Be cautious and do not expect mercy, for Cerberus waits to feast on your flesh, consuming both body and soul. Brought into this world by the mother of monsters, Echidna, Cerberus was tasked with guarding the gates of hell However, a new task befalls this demon dog, as his master Hades calls him to the surface. With his poisonous breath, acid-like spittle, his gaze that can turn flesh to stone, Cerberus now hunts freely in the world of the living, eager to drag new souls. Cerberus's passive is Spirit of Death. Anytime an enemy god within 40 feet of Cerberus is healed, that healing is reduced by 20% and Cerberus receives 40% of the total health restored. Cerberus's first ability is Petrifying Visage. Cerberus's snake tail fires a projectile that passes through enemy minions and stops on the first enemy god. Hitting enemies with basic attacks or using his second ability, Ghastly Breath, alerts his dog heads, which then also fire projectiles. Each projectile that hits the same target deals reduced damage, but hitting an enemy with all four shots will stun them. Cerberus's second ability is Ghastly Breath. Each of Cerberus's three heads release a cone of noxious breath in front of them, damaging and reducing protections of any enemy hit. Enemies hit by the center of his breath are also slowed. Cerberus's third ability is Soul Expulsion. Cerberus leaps a short distance forward, dealing damage on impact and severing the souls of enemy minions. Cerberus can then attack and defeat the souls in order to heal. Cerberus's basic attacks will cleave onto nearby souls. Cerberus's ultimate is Stygian Torment. All three of Cerberus's heads begin to howl, forcing souls into the ground around him in a circle. After a short duration, all enemies in range take damage and are knocked in front of him. Cerberus can deal quite a bit of damage if enemies cannot escape his ghastly breath. Try and find a target who cannot escape and use ghastly breath to slow them and reduce their protections. Follow this up with Petrifying Visage, which will now fire four shots to deal a large chunk of damage and mesmerize the target. Cerberus can rend souls from nearby enemies for a quick heal. First, find a group of gods or minions and leap onto them with soul expulsion. Once all the souls have been torn from their bodies, use ghastly breath to quickly defeat them to get a nice amount of health back. As said before, enemies that are put in front of Cerberus are at his mercy. By using his ultimate, Stygian Torment, Cerberus can quickly pull all enemies around him directly in range of ghastly breath. As they flee, look for a single target to focus with Petrifying Visage. Cerberus is a guardian who can get in a fight directly with his opponents and force them to flee or face some nasty dog breath. Spirit of Death makes Cerberus great at fighting healers, allowing him to benefit from his opponent's sustain. Petrifying Visage can lock down a single opponent while Ghastly Breath can spread a large protection shred to help his allies or a slow to peel for them. Soul Expulsion pulls the souls from his enemies, giving Cerberus a way to keep up the pressure and keep death at bay. Finally, his Stygian Torment is a strong way to start a team fight and allow your allies to quickly pile on the damage to the enemy team. Pair him with gods that can combo his ultimate like Hades, Scylla, or Izanami. For Cerberus's ability order, you will want to begin with Petrifying Visage. This ability gives him strong early clear while being immune to interrupts unlike Ghastly Breath. Your next point will be in Ghastly Breath, helping you deal more damage to the minions but also quickly enabling Petrifying Visage to use all four heads. Put another point in Petrifying Visage before getting a point into Soul Expulsion. From here, you will want to follow the ability priority of Stygian Torment, 
petrifying visage, ghastly breath, and soul expulsion. Cerberus's build should focus on a mixture of bruiser and tank-oriented items. This will allow Cerberus to get into a fight and be impactful without dying too quickly. Begin with Watcher's Gift, Lono's Mask, and Potions. Cerberus will want to be aggressive while allowing his hunter to farm, helping him complete Lono's Mask. From there, pick up Shoes of the Magi to make use of his more offensive talents. Hide of the Urchin is your next pickup, giving you much-needed health and both types of protections, helping you deal with whatever your opponents may throw at you. To keep up with being a frontline brawler, pick up Void Stone to further help you and your mage in sending the enemy team to their fountain. Rod of Asclepius is a strong pickup for Cerberus, allowing him to benefit more from the healing of both his passive and soul expulsion with some bonus health, power, and movement speed. Close out your build with Spirit Robe and Mantle of Discord. Both of these items will provide a ton of protections while their passives will help you when you are in the middle of the enemy team. Thanks for watching the Smite God Reveal for Cerberus, Warden of the Underworld.